Hey, what's up, Auburn Nation? It is Jim Bobbington. And recently I just picked up some new mirrors. Uh, these are Moto Gadget glassless mirrors from Joymini. Uh, they are pretty sweet. Uh, they're still in the box, so I won't show you right now. Uh, what we are going to do is start working on that install today. So they clamp on just like this. So you can install them right here on the stock bar end uh, adapters. But I'm really kind of looking forward to getting rid of this silver and pulling it closer to the bars so you don't have this weird gap. Uh, so I bought Moto Gadget bar end adapters that will install in here. So let's walk through that process. So this bolt is a T6, just like almost everything on this bike. Interesting. So it's actually not welded in there. I could have sworn. The old coat hanger. Okay, so I guess when I got my newer bars, I did not recall having these adapters. So that is exciting. I don't have to drill this out. So also in the process, I will be removing the grips and replacing those. So let's see how hard it's going to be for me to get this off. Okay. Whew. Sticky, icky. So these new grips are from Moto Gadget as well. Uh, they have some that are machined aluminum that looks just like this, but these are rubber. And I figured that would be better for comfort. But remember, you've got a thicker side on this one, so the thicker one goes on here. Okay, those are on. Okay, so this is the bar end adapter. So this end goes into the bar end. The mirror is allowed to attach around here. And this cap comes off, which allows you to access this bolt head. And then this is the glassless mirror. This is 100% just polished aluminum. I'm gonna put a link to the video that I had watched on the manufacturing process of these, and I couldn't stop thinking about them. That's what got me to order them in the first place. But I'm going to install it hanging down, kind of like the uh, OEM mirrors. So right here, we've got a bolt that we need to loosen so that we can get this onto the adapter. Uh, this is a 530 seconds Allen head. All right, so that is loose. And actually it looks like I can, I need to slip this out so that it'll fit. Mm 
Not quite. Maybe a little looser. Okay, so with it completely loose, I was able to pop that in there with that brass gold ring removed. And let's see if you can see this. So I've got it like flush with the inner ring here because the cap, the threads are on the inside of this ring. And on the other side, there is a small gap that allows for the throttle tube to not be pinched, it looks like. There we go. Okay, so now this bolt here is slightly larger, looks like a T5. Um, I need to compress it just a little bit so that this ring isn't loose and just slipping off. So you want it to be able to expand towards the end. So make sure the fins are open on the inside. Inside here, you have a fin here and we want this notch to slide into it. so that it spreads them, not binds up against them. Okay, so now we can see it's already spreading, and now this doesn't fit. <laughs> Loosen it a little bit, get that on, there we go. This is kind of a pain in the ass to try to uh, do while I'm holding it. So I guess I don't technically need the mirror installed at the moment. So I'm just holding the ring from spinning with my hand while tightening it and it's expanding on the inside. Just want to make sure there's no binding. pretty tight. I don't think it's going anywhere. Now we can slide on the mirror. Get the end cap on nice and tight. And now we can worry about the angle Okay, so that is biting a bit. So it is binding up against this ring. But it's only binding against the rubber. So I think we could just have it where there's a millimeter of gap here, tighten this bolt down, um, and that'll keep it from pinning itself against the throttle tube. Okay, so 
To tighten this screw, I'm basically going to make sure the mirror is straight up and down the way it's attached. And look at that screw. I am told that the surface of the mirror can scratch fairly easily. So leave the protective film on until you're done with the install. Okay. I may have to just slice a tiny bit of this rubber off because the threads are not long enough to reach into there. But I'll leave it there for now. I want to uh, try adjusting the mirror now. I'm going to go pointy side in. Plenty of room before the hits the tank. I think that'll be good. So I want to make sure I've got this grip on as tight as I can get it. And that actually gave me quite a bit of space. Plenty of room for this to thread on now. Quick little tip. I was worried about this coming off from vibrations. Uh, how it works is before you get this bolt completely tightened, get this screwed in and then tighten this bolt down a little bit more and it clamps this so you can't get it off. Good God, my bike is dirty. No. So there we go. Very simple install. I think these are going to look super sweet. And uh, it'll be... It'll be all about finding the angle once I get to go right again. But I think, I think that bar end looks a lot cleaner than that bar end. Right on. Well, I won't make you sit through watching me do the other side. It's the same except easier since there's no uh, throttle. Uh, but yeah. Thanks for watching. This was the Moto Gadget. Uh, these specific ones, flight is the shape and style of this mirror right here. So this pointy obelisk shape and the angled arm. But this was Jim Bobbington reminding you, don't be a skid mark. We'll see you next time.